Hi guys, uh, just wanted to share with you um, the unboxing of my Enzo kit knife. Enzo knife kit. I just got it from Omaha Knife Company today. Um, so what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, take, uh, put the camera on the tripod and um, and show you the unboxing. Okay, just one sec. I got um <clears throat> I asked for a full scan degrind in D2 steel with burgundy micarta handles. Uh, looks like customs may have had their hands on it. So it's a full kit, that's the, I don't know the exact name of this, but um, you get the, these are the, the rivets that hold the scales to the knife, and then you just grind them off, once you tighten them, you just grind them off, you just sand them off. Um, so yeah, so a couple of people do do these um, themselves. So I thought, uh, what the hell? Why not? I like the burgundy color. That looks nice. Burgundy Mercado. It says. Hmm. It doesn't have the inserts. I thought it had the inserts. It looks like it's already got the inserts. I may just need to touch this up, the, the middle. So, so I can get a better grip or have a more comfortable grip. Um, comes with a leather sheath. It's got a dangler, but that will be nice. Fairly nice quality, pretty pretty nice little sheath uh, reasonable quality <clears throat> reasonable quality I guess um, it's sewn it's sewn in there and it looks like it's glued and here it's sewn as well and that's just riveted Yeah, it looks alright. I might just add a, add a fire steel to it eventually. So that's what comes in the kit. You got your um, your leather sheath that they supply. That's the leather sheath that they supply. I got it from these people here, Omaha Knife Company, and uh, reasonably priced. And the shipping was only five dollars, which is amazing for international shipping. So I asked for a full Scandi grind. I wanted uh, old one, but they only had them in D2. So I might get the. The other uh, option in in O1 
but I'm not sure what sort of grind that is in. Here's the actual blade. Oh wow. Gee, that's sharp. So this is in D2 steel, full Scandi grind. Um, I like the thickness of the blade. Full tang, absolutely full tang. Oh, hang on a minute. It says 01. The chick told me it was D2. She actually emailed me and said, oh, we've only got them in D2. It's actually 01. So cheering oh yeah that's definitely shaving sharp look at that can you see the hair on the knife yeah not that I'm a hairy bastard or anything but let's shave my arm I shaved the hairs of my arm. Yeah, it sure is sharp. So, I don't know whether I'll have enough time to fix this before we go to gym now. But I'll do my best. So you can see how the scales uh, fit in. Wow, it's a pretty nice fit. They're a little bit proud. They're a little bit proud, but I think I think the scales are pretty much spot on. I'll just round off the you know, these sharp edges just to round it off to make it a little bit more comfortable, but they make them really well. They make them really, really well. So there's not a there's not a lot of grinding I'm gonna have to do. There's not a lot to take off. There's actually <clears throat> quite quite a nice nice fit to it. It's got a nice nice grip. Feels feels good in my hand. I'll probably still get a heli just to have it in my collection but the fact that they're rat rat tail tanks um, put, puts me off them a little bit but I'll still get one just because they're such famous knives um, but I'm definitely getting another uh, Enzo, I'll probably get the 5 inch next I think this is 3.5 inch or something like that um, <clears throat> so it's like nine nine centimeter from the nine centimeters from the scales nine and a half centimeters from the scales and the actual the actual cutting edge is nine centimeters so nine and a half just over nine and a half from the scales and the actual edge is about nine nine centimeters so <clears throat> that's a nice looking knife I like that look how thick that is man that's nice and thick three and a half mils I think it is Three and a half mils thick. That is, that is some serious thickness. Not that I'm gonna do any batoning for this. This is purely my bushcraft. This will be purely for bushcraft, you know. Nice, fine tasks. Just an an all rounder bushcraft. If I need to baton or do any heavy tasks, I've got a hatchet. I've got a tomahawk, a hatchet. I've got a kukri, 
um, and I've got a thicker knife, so I'm not gonna. This is this will be purely bushcraft, and um, so far so good. So far so good. I'll start saving. I'll start saving and um, get myself the five five inch blade. Um, just to give you an idea how these fit. Shows you I'm not an I'm not an expert knife maker by any means. This is the first time I'm I'm attempting to put a knife together, but I think it should be a fairly straightforward process. We're not attempting to reinvent the wheel or not attempting brain surgery or battlefield amputation or anything like that. I think it should be should be reasonably straightforward. Beauty, look at that. I always thought that Enzo was uh, Italian for some reason. I don't know. Should, I should I'm not really like a knife expert. I must admit. I know how to use them. I know what they're for. But I'm by no means an expert. But now that I'm really heavily into bushcraft, uh, I'm starting to learn a bit more about knives. And there's always something new to learn. That's for sure. And I discovered these uh, Enzo knives. I saw the video by Emmanuel Mackler and I, I really liked that knife. Um, but I thought I'd go for the Micarta scales just to, just for the fact that um, this thing is virtually indestructible. I mean, you gotta, you gotta smash it with a hammer to break Micarta. Even probably then it probably won't break. Um, this thing will last forever, basically. I can leave it to my son once I'm, you know, no longer able to do bushcraft, or if this knife gets damaged or broken. Or
Sleeping. I wonder if God was sleeping. 